origin, he called it. The origin of what? Origin, he called it. The origin of what? It's the end, is what it is. Did you know that it was I who convinced His Imperial Highness to join you in Stonehill? <laughs> All right, it may be that he was of a mind to do so already, but it was I who told him where you'd be. Did you know that it was I who convinced His Imperial Highness to join you in Stonehill? What you're talking about? What do you mean I can't have another Is this the look? last of the mother crystals, do you think? You've had nine or could there be others buried out there? Is this the last of the mother crystals, do you think? Or could there be others buried out there? There's not like a fuck off crystal hanging over the horizon to sour your eel. There's not like a fuck off crystal hanging over the horizon to sour your eel. Tommy said you destroyed all the mother crystals. No, he didn't. There's still the black one up in the sky. Tommy said you destroyed all the mother crystals. No, he didn't. There's still. Knowledge hoarded is knowledge lost. If I may observe. <laughs> History can wait. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. Now this, I believe you will find most interesting. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. You are always welcome, Clive. Aye, it's a dangerous world out there. Let's stock up what you can. Scratches, right? Should last you a good while. work, but it'll do. You can thank me later. Yeah, that should do you. Do my best work, but it'll do.
Anything else? Clive. Go on, then. It'd better all be here. Away. But you know what I'd really like? My own goblin. Or maybe a marble or a bomb. But only if it was a big one. That or a bander curl, but not a cactuar. They're too prickly. I did it, Sid. I made friends with all the animals in the hideaway. says your books made quite an impression on the children. You've inspired them all to become writers themselves. Miss Shirley! Miss Shirley! Is I want to learn how so? to build an airship so I can fly Why up to the Dark Crystal and crack it. Then. That's very nice, Jocelyn. But perhaps you could start with your sons? If you need the Enterprise, just say the word. As long as the word isn't fly. She can't do that. Yet. Clive, if you need the Enterprise, just say the word. As long as... That crystal certainly don't boot well. But just think of all the secrets it must hold. Here. If you're planning on going up there, you could bring a bit back for me, could you? That crystal certainly don't boot well. But just think of all the secrets it must hold. I think you freed the realm from her fate. The next, a darker one rears up to replace it. What awaits us when we finally attain release? True freedom? Or something else entirely? One moment you think you freed the realm from her fate. The next, a darker one rears up to replace it. What awaits us when we finally attain release? All this time, my heart has wandered hither and thither in search of the perfect companion, when all along he was here, standing right beside me. All this time, my heart has wandered be fine. These skies are taking their toll on the hideaway, Clive. I can mend a broken arm, but a broken spirit is beyond my talents. These skies are taking their toll on the hideaway, Clive. I can mend a broken arm. Thank you, my lord, for taking me in. Everyone here has been so kind. It reminds me of home. Thank you, my lord, for taking me in. Everyone here has been so kind. It 
reminds me of home. expecting you back come again I may have more for you fancy a look at the list do you here you go think you can help twin sides hundreds of leagues away that would mean the crystal is massive Boy. there's something about it it's not often our entire merry flock returns home to roost at once. I expect I should be wishing you good luck. It's not often our entire merry flock returns home to roost at once. I expect I should be wishing you good luck. What is it? Origin, he called it. The origin of the world. Still alive, I see. Something tells me that I saw on the horizon is your doing. How'd you manage that? It's a long story. One that I'd rather only tell once. Right. All hands on deck, then. As I'm sure you've all guessed, the crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima. He called it Origin. Though the significance of that name is as yet unclear. What does it matter what it's called? Its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Valisthian records. But to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature. That they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. Well... The Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canva is in flames, and the Empire... Our allies are crying out for answers. I've sent the Curse Breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Could it be that this new Mother Crystal is like the others? That it draws upon the land's ether? It certainly looked that way, from stone here. If that were true, it would explain the hastening spread of the Blight since the Crystal's appearance. Would it not? And as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface, it pulls. Corrupting all who cannot channel its energies. Arche above. Ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. <laughs> it's all right. When we faced him at stone here, Ultima told us his true power quickens in the Halls of Origin. Needless to say, we cannot allow that to continue. 
If we are to stop him, we will have to find a way into the crystal. How are we going to manage that then? It's up in the sky. And fast as she is, the Enterprise can't fly. It's a lot to take in, and I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? Right. That's right. Well, go on, then. Bugger off. Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, right? Thank you. Joshua seemed upset. Unless you've taught our chocoboos how to fly, I won't be scouting this one for you, Clive. You're on your own, but not alone. Unless you've taught our cho If there's anything special you fancy supping on before you go, I'd be glad to make it for you. As long as it's brown. Always one more job to do, isn't there, Clive? If there's anything special you fancy supping on before you go... There is much to consider. Believe me, Clive, I would fly with you to origin, nay, to the end of the world, if I could. Alas, my fear of heights prevents me. Believe me, Clive, I would fly with you to origin, nay, to I was wondering when next you'd visit. Go safely. Sid, did you know that chocobos are far more resilient to the effects of ether? You're going somewhere, Sid. Can we come? I promise we'll be good. You're going somewhere, Sid. Can we come? I promise we'll be good. Not forget this kindness, my lord. I shall go to Eastmore. But as soon as the rebuilding. Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. And if he would have us fight for our survival, so be it. It's what we've been doing all along. Much like Ultima himself, it would seem. His new world being naught but a means to survive. And so, we must contend to decide which of us shall inherit the land. Should Ultima prevail, it will mean death for us all. Of that, we can be certain. But 
even should he fail, what world awaits us? A withered, godless place where our newfound freedom will most like prove a chain in itself. Well, there may be, but a chain can always be broken. As long as one has the will to break it, it won't be easy. It may take generations, centuries of suffering. And that is if everyone plays their part. But it will happen. And when it does, it will be on our terms. That is the world that awaits us. <laughs> Indeed. And what better world could one wish for? First, we have to reach that crystal. Then it's a good thing I have wings. You can barely stand, let alone fly. And only the founder knows what horrors await in those skies. Are you certain about this? Am I certain? I am the Phoenix. I will do what I must. This is our fight. Remember? what you must, yes? I'm still your sworn shield. That you are. And what of my wings? Lest you forget, you go to stand against a god. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. Ifrit. Your brother mentioned that some few of the Dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? It is. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. Ah. Then mine will have to be stronger. That you both might save your strength for the battle to come. You don't have to do this. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? My life ended in the Dominion. I fear death no more. Besides, I would have words with Ultima. He has much to answer for. We are in your debt, Dion. We can speak of debts when this is over. He speaks like a man who knows he's not coming back. come to terms with that. That doesn't mean that we have to, does it, Clive? Time to talk to Jill. I only hope she understands. Take as much time as you need, brother. Something tells me Ultima will wait. Take as much time as you need, brother. Say your farewells, and let us be gone. Say your farewells, and let us be gone. Take as long as you need, Clive. Just don't take too long, eh? Take as long as you need, Clive. Just don't take too long.
come to wish on a star. <sighs> that might not be such a bad idea. This is it, Jill. You know what I have to do. Why well, I have to do it. There's no turning back now. This is where our journey was leading us. Where it will end, for better or worse. I could pray to Metia for you. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? You always are. I did promise we'd watch the moon together. I'll be waiting. Have a moment. Of course. Always. I wanted to give you something. Is this? I stitched it from the cloth you gave Hortense. The piece she said you liked best. I told her I used to enjoy needlework, but I didn't think she'd remember. It's beautiful, Jill. You didn't have to. When I was very little, I recall my mother telling me that young ladies of the court would give knights ribbons from their hair before they went off to war. I still wear mine, so I made you this instead. Black is the color of eternity. It cannot be stained. It cannot be sullied. It is unchanging, unwavering, just like your resolve. And mine. Our resolve. May it never diminish. And may it ever bring you back to me. I will always, always be here. Thank you, Jill. It's not time yet, is it? Somewhere in the back of my mind. I know. Thank you. And so for now... Be strong, Clive. Tells me this is no mere adventure story. <sighs> what is it this time, Torgal? What you will, Lady Karen has seen our son. Hiding for something, boy. What is it? What do 
की से आता है I never did ask where you got that anklet of yours. From Said, that's why. On the day brought him home. That long ago. And you're only thinking to ask this now? <sighs> Said saw that the pup had a habit of gnawing on his leg, since you ask. Clap that there iron on him to keep him from doing it. What was wrong, boy? I'll take like as not. Must have been hard on the poor whelp losing his loving masters at such a young age. Doubly hard in being a frost wolf, torn away from his icons and all. Sid would always tell him, you want my iron gone, you find what it is you're looking for. I reckon what he was looking for was you. I'm sorry, Toggle. Sorry for making you wait so long. <coughs> Let's get that thing off you. Doesn't sound like he wants it off. Indeed. You miss it as much as the rest of us, don't you? Oh. You want me to go with you somewhere? Oh. Quick, aren't you? Glad you've been paying attention. Not nearly as much as you have, Lady Karen. Aye. Good thing and all. It's not like Gav would have kept him in nuts and rubbed his belly these past ten summers. Your kindness is appreciated. You've been a good friend to him. Only because he doesn't talk back like the rest of you. Go on now. Where to then, Toggle? Should I write next? What do you Are think you happened to Miss Middleton? Sid, you have to help us. With what? You didn't take apart another of Mid's contraptions, did you? No. Well, yes. But that's not what we want to talk to you about. It's Miss Middleton. She's been acting strange. Very strange. She's barely ever around. When she is, she acts like we aren't even there. Her head's in a crowd. In the clouds. And that's what I said. In the clouds. Well, she does have a lot on her mind. When did you last see her? Um, not long ago. Ah, right after she got back from saving you from Stone Ear. Then it's probably just about the Enterprise. It did take quite a battering on the way there and back. You didn't break it, did you, Sid? You really should be more careful around Miss Middledol's inventions. Oh, don't listen to her. Even if you did break the Enterprise, you could put it back together, couldn't you? But who's gonna put Miss Middledol back together? She seems really sad. I hope you're right, Sid. Sid! No. Well, then... But... Why don't I go and see if I can cheer her up? You do that! For us! She's in her dungeon. Don't scare him. It's not a real dungeon. Thanks for the warning. Miss Shirley says we're not allowed in the dungeon. But Miss Minidol doesn't mind. Miss Shirley says we're not allowed in the dungeon. But Miss Minidol doesn't mind. Has Minidol mentioned a new project yet? Not exactly. Mid, if you have a... Ah! That's it! I knew it! The answer was right here under my arse all along! If this doesn't see it to the skies, nothing will! To the skies? You aren't trying to give the Enterprise wings, are you? What else would I be doing? 
The children seem to think you're avoiding them. They're worried about you. Is this really so important that you need to shut yourself away from everyone? The Enterprise is already the fastest ship in the realm, and that's with the sea beneath her. But what if she weren't bound to the waves? What if she weren't bound to anything at all? It's not fair, the gods get the skies all to themselves, so... I'm gonna do something about it! The Fallen had their chance, but they relied too much on magic. And see where that got them. But not me. I've discovered how to do it without. Well, almost. First, I need to make a prototype. And is that a one-woman job? Are you volunteering? I'll have you know the Enterprise is my baby. But if her godfather's offering to lend a hand, I'd be happy to take it. First, I'll need oil. And not just some old drippings from Miss Molly's spits in the tub and crown. Refined stuff, like they make in Ordil. Then I'll need some bone, or shell. Light, strong, preferably no longer attached to the beast it belongs to. If it's beast bones you're after, I'm sure the curse breakers will know where you might find some. No, they'll know where you might find some. You're the one who offered to help, remember? I should speak with one of the curse breakers before I set off for Old Hill. See if I can't find this bone while I'm there as well. They make an oil down at the docks in Aldil that's as slippery as the sea nasties they render it from. With that and the bone I told you about, I shall be able to finish the prototype. They make an oil down at the docks in Aldil that's as slippery as the sea nasties they render it from. Has Middadol mentioned a new project yet? Seems preoccupied, but then again, when isn't she? I will not let them be forgotten. Sid, may I have a moment? Of course. It is an honor to finally speak with you. My name is Herman. I've been with the Curse Breakers for some time now, and. Uh, I wish to be deployed to Ash. Any assignment will do. No. The lands across the Narrow are too dangerous. I will not send good men and women to risk their lives needlessly. Why would you want to go back? I need to retrieve something. Something important. I was raised in an orphanage. The Badbach Conservatory. Or rather, I was held captive there. It was not a place of nurture. It existed solely to turn bearer children into mindless weapons. We were tortured until we feared no pain. Tormented until our hearts turned to stone and few ever survived long enough to become tools of the last king. I can't imagine. I lost so many. I... I can't even remember all their names, but they must be remembered. They cannot fade away, faceless and forgotten. The Institute was run with military precision. Every child measured, every name recorded, every death logged with meticulous care. Sid, allow me to travel to Ash and recover the registry so that my brothers and sisters might live on. I understand. Forgive my impropriety. I will not let them be forgotten. No, I will. I You are a good friend, Herman. But the fact remains that Ash is simply too dangerous. Sid, please. Even should it cost me my life. Too dangerous for you, Herman. But not for me. I'll go to Bad Back and find the registry. You will? I won't let you risk your life. I don't know how to thank you. You can start by telling me where I'll find this orphanage. The De Grace. Hidden in a forest. Overlooking the plains. All right. I'll see what I can find there. May the mothers guide you.
plains of Videgrace have haunted my dreams since I escaped from the orphanage. I can't say I was looking forward to returning. The plains of Videgrace have haunted my dreams since I escaped from the orphanage. I can't say I was looking forward to returning. to buy us around, have you? Only if you earn it. Mid needs a piece of light but durable bone for her next project. You've encountered your share of beasts on your travels across the realm. Any ideas? Most bones are the same. Whack them hard enough and they'll break. If it's durability you're looking for, shell will serve you better. You know what an adamantus is? I do. And I know to give them a wide berth. Will any old adamantus do? Well, with shells, the older the harder. There's a rumor of an ancient adamantus down in Carava, near Old Bidza, or what's left of the village anyway. But don't expect to make quick work of the bastard. There's a reason it's lived as long as it has. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Normally, I wouldn't recommend going anywhere near an Adamantus, let alone one that's had a few centuries to let its temper simmer. They're mean bastards, and they only get meaner with age. Why do you think the village of Old Bidza was abandoned? Normally, I wouldn't recommend going anywhere near an Adamantus, let alone one that's had a few centuries. Clive! Quick look! Seen enough? Time to take a step back. But if it weren't for Sid, I'll be here if you need me. Vivian, I read your note, and I'd be happy to help you find the book you're looking for. Thank you, Clive. But tracking it down will not be easy. Are you sure? Please. You have always granted me your wisdom and insight whenever I asked. It's only right that I return the favor. Or at least attempt to. You are too kind. Alas, what I ask of you is rather more trying than delivering the odd lecture. I spoke with Harpocrates to see if he had any inkling as to where another copy might be found, but... <sighs> But perhaps it is best that you hear the details from him. If you say so. Forgive me, Clive, for asking this of you. But this book, it set me on the path to becoming who I am today. Its importance cannot be overstated. Clive. Well, Clive. I am. Naturally. I shall... Harpocrates knows of the tome I seek. Whether what he has to say makes you happy to have agreed to help me is another matter. 
I do so enjoy our little chats. Sid, I was wondering if you could help me. It depends what with. A bearer, but recently freed from his bonds, is keen to join the Curse Breakers. As you know, the work we do is not easy, which is why we test every volunteer's suitability. I was hoping you could oversee this one's evaluation. I don't mind, but why this one? Because he wants to be a scout. Our ranks are filled with men and women capable of breaking chains and putting slavers to the sword. But scouting? We're few with the nose for that, which is why we still rely so heavily on Gav. And since he accompanies you on so many of your missions, I thought you might be better placed to recognize the traits in him that we should look for in those who'd fill his boots. Sounds reasonable. So you're happy to oversee the boys' test, then? Of course. The test can wait. One can never have too many scouts. Truer words, Sid. I'll let the Initiate know that you'll be attending his trial, and that he is to proceed directly to Northreach in readiness. No time like the present, eh? No time like the present. I'll await you there. Northreach. I don't suppose they could have chosen somewhere closer. Is it then, brother? <sighs> Indeed. You're wrong. Of course. Joshua, what's wrong? And don't say nothing. But it's... Not nothing. I've received word from Cyril. The Undying have found Father's will. Or something akin to it. His will? How? Where? In the crypt beneath Rosalith Castle. After Kupka was kind enough to drive out the Imperials, the Undying took the opportunity to recover what relics of the Duchy yet remained. And in the process of doing so, they found a letter from Father. I'm surprised anything survived down there. Cyril asked that I join him in Tabor at my convenience. I have been meaning to go, but... Would you join me? I understand. I wonder if I'm ready to read it myself. Ah, uh, Clive. Joshua, I have his... In the coffin of the Of course. I want to know what's in that letter as much as you do. Very well. I am ready to leave when you are. Back to Tabor, then. Not to be reunited with Yote this time, but with Father. Back to Tabor then. Not to be reunited with Yote this time, but with Father. Must we away? My decision is made. <sighs> you said it yourself. He must be stopped. He must. <laughs> I await your word. Sid, do you have a moment? By all means. It's my old master. Seems there's no escaping her. She found some way to send me a letter, and something else. 
Records from a Waluda prison. Seems they were keeping a lot of bearers there. How did she come by such a thing? Finding bearers always was her strong point. And it seems the cells of Balmung Dark are full of them. Foreign captives, the masterless, bearers no one would miss. And even better for her, bearers with no one to look after them. When Ether started lapping at the walls, the jailers fled. Leaving the bearers to be liberated by whoever happened to come along next. Sid, I'd like to believe that I've earned your trust by now. And while I'm well aware that you've forbidden curse breakers from traveling to Walud, I can't let those bearers die in their cells. I'd rather risk shipwreck on the Shadow Coast than leave them to starve. I know you're trying to keep me safe, but I can't just leave them there. We'll be needing the Enterprise if we're going to navigate the Narrow. Does that mean... I'm making an exception, but we travel together. And we stay no longer than we have to. Ash is an inhospitable place at the best of times. We save as many as we can, and we leave. Thank you, Sid. There was a name in the prison register. A name from my past. Chadwick. Another of my former master's protégés. A gifted soldier, and the closest thing I had to family. The thought of him held captive in that place. He must be very important to you. He was. Is. Then we find him. The entrance to the prison lies in the shadow of Ravenwit Walls, just beyond the portcullis. We should head there as quickly as we can. I only pray there are still bearers alive to save. As do I, Doris. How long has it been since the jailers of Balmung abandoned their charges? Without food or water, they won't last long. How long has it been since the jailers of Balmung abandoned their charges? Without food or water. All right, Toggle. Where are you taking me? I'm going to need a little bit more than that, boy. Do you have a better hint for me? Unless... You've already given me one. Back on the rear deck, you were looking west. Toward Rosaria. Why don't we try the rookery? I haven't been to the island in... Almost 20 years. <coughs> to Port is older, then. Fingers crossed the old mooring is still there. Oh, you all right? About that. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> you off then? For down here, Clive, my boy. Rutherford informs me that we owe you our thanks. Hadn't intended for you to get involved, but such are the times we live in, huh? I would have done the same for anyone else. You're far too modest, Clive. You'd make a terrible nobleman. But tell me. Is the realm truly in as dire a state as Rutherford suggests? 
From what little I saw, you were right to be worried. Uh, I suppose I should have expected the worst. But I was rather hoping the great and good of the realm might have things a little more under control. Alas, it seems that firm leadership is in short supply these days, and without it, the people are bound to lose their way. We must move quickly. But where do we start? True, the challenges that face us are many. But in my estimation, there are two key areas to be addressed before any other. The realm's armies and her larders. As you've seen firsthand, it's every man and woman for themselves out there. Certain cities have banded together to try and maintain some semblance of order, yes. But such cases are few and far between. And yet, the only remedy for the chaos that faces us is unity. A unity that transcends even the borders laid down by our ancestors. In short, if Storm does not stand together, she will fall apart. But how would one even begin to unite the realm? The armies, my boy. As I told you already, we begin by restoring order among the ranks of those sworn to maintain it. Sadly, I doubt I could convince even the lowliest gaggle of privates to dig a latrine together. But I do know someone the High Commanders have been known to listen to on occasion. Field Marshal Eugen Havel. I thought he was retired. He was, until an Akashic army tore through Randalar and killed most of the rank and file. There is no man alive more capable. Literally. And as luck would have it, I've already spoken with him on the matter. Of course you have. And he's agreed to help. On one condition. That he first speaks with you personally. Havel has always been a man of frustratingly rigid principle. And he has certain qualms about clasping arms with... Well, with an outlaw. I extolled your many virtues as best I could, of course. But the old goat was adamant that he be allowed to appraise you in person. You don't mind, do you, my boy? Very well. But you must not tarry, dear boy. This can only be put off for so long. Hmm? Clark! Right, right, you're from uh, but. Uh, we must move much. Uh, and he and but, the, uh, but I, he uh, of and I he, of course not. As long as chaos reigns, we will never build a better world. I'll do whatever it takes. And if the field marshal wishes to speak with me in person, then so be it. That's the spirit. I'll leave for Randalar at once. Would you send a Stolas? Of course. Rutherford is already in the Dalmechian capital. I'll have him tell Havel to expect you forthwith. Excellent. Thank you, uncle. No. Thank you, Clive. Don't worry, my boy. Rutherford is in Randalar this very moment, singing your praises to all and sundry. They'll adore you. Don't worry, my boy. Rutherford is in Randalar this very moment, singing your praises to all. Ah, Clive, my boy. What a pleasure it is to see you. Harpocrates, there's something I need to ask you. I've been charged with locating a book called From a Distance. Then you seek a rare gem indeed. One whose name I had not thought to hear from your lips. <sighs> You've been talking to Vivian. Right as always. But she didn't seem keen to tell me very much. I take it she didn't like what you had to say. And yet I gather it did naught to dissuade her. Clive, if the young professor has tasked you with obtaining a copy, I fear she asks the impossible. The executors would not allow it. The executors? Coveters of secrets. A clandestine organization 
committed to the collection and intenebration of forbidden texts and technologies. One such text being the tome Vivian seeks. Chronicling as it does, the true history of the enslavement of bearers. A tale which could overturn the established order were it ever to become widely known. Or, so rumor has it, I've never actually read the thing, or even set eyes on it for that matter. How is it that I haven't heard of this organization? Why, secrecy is the executor's watchword. They lurk in the shadows, emerging only to seize that which must be seized, be it books, inventions, or people, before disappearing again, leaving nary a trace. Which would explain why Vivian's copy was snatched from her grasp not long after she found it. By the hand of the executors, yes. But what drives them? Self-interest or ideology? Fine question. Sadly, all that is known of the executors can be recounted in a single breath. You may just as soon ask me of their origins, numbers, or the identities of their leaders. Any answer I give would be pure speculation. Then my hunt was doomed from the first. What was Vivian expecting? That I'd pluck it from thin air? Not from thin air, no. From ash. Rumors of the executors are rife among the scholars of Storm, but rather less so across the strait. I have a friend. Well, I had a friend in the village of Garnik, a collector of rare tomes upon which subject we would oft correspond. Alas, I have heard naught from him since the skies fell dark. And no doubt he too has turned. But though he did not mention it by name, it is possible that a surviving copy of From a Distance yet rests upon one of his many shelves, quietly awaiting discovery. If you were, by some chance, able to save even a single book from the poor man's library, I know his soul would rest easier. Very well. When I next find myself in Walud, I'll be sure to pay Garnick a visit. Good morrow to you, my friend. Ah, yes. Indeed. <laughs> Then go. Having never visited, I cannot tell you exactly where in Garnick my friend's lodgings lie, but he did mention they were some distance from the road. I make no guarantee that you will find what you seek there, only that it is the best and perhaps the only place left to look. Fare thee well, my friend. Welcome to Dravoj, Sid. Our gates are always open for you and yours. What do you think? I made myself a pair of bellows, just like Blackthorn showed us. Would you like to see my wares? Here you are. Thank you. Here you are. Certainly.
May we meet again. <laughs>